India imports 80% to 85% of its oil requirements, hence any significant movement in global oil prices, impact India's current account, forex reserves and imported inflation. In financial year 23, the quantum of IT exports, were approximately 85% of crude oil imports, helping reduce the trade deficit. India's current account deficit is narrowing, due to oil prices trending lower on account of expected global economic slowdown. Commodity prices continue to ease, inflation is now influenced by domestic demand. Consequently, fixed income markets, are pricing in a 75 basis points cut on repo rate over the course of next year. This would augur well for equity market valuations, which have also been cushioned by healthy earnings growth over the last couple of years. As per the temperature gauge index, valuations are still in fair value zone. For incremental investments, we continue to suggest 50% deployment immediately, and 50% to be staggered over 3 to 6 months, while being able to accelerate deployment, during sharp corrections. Based on trailing 12 months earnings, temperature gauge index, suggests that large cap valuations are still in fair zone. We maintain a bias towards multi-cap and select mid and small cap strategies across MF, PMS, and AIF platforms. RBIs, aims to keep neutral liquidity, and would intervene, as and when required. Flatness in yield curve, continues on account of monetary policy tightening, normalization of liquidity and global factors. Short end of the yield curve has inched up relatively more than the longer end of the curve. The sweet spot lies between 3 to 5 years maturity. We suggest that around 65% or 70% of the fixed income portfolio should be allocated equally to 3 to 5 year maturity high quality GSEC or AAA equivalent accrual debt funds and equity savings funds. To enhance the yield, 30% to 35% of the overall fixed income portfolio can be allocated to RITs, INVITs, select high yield and CDs and private credit strategies. For liquidity management or temporary parking, investments can be allocated to arbitrage, ultra-short-term, liquid or overnight strategies.